it was bo bordering on parody and running joke to the point where we're like, there's yes. no way this will be real. We've we've like summoning circled this thing a hundred directs in a row now. It never shows up. And it just felt like one of those things that se seemed so obvious. There were rumors around this thing that it was been in, done in development and basically just sitting in a refrigerator at, you know, at Nintendo for five, six years now. So it was just yep. surreal to see this. Now, it's not the full trilogy, which, you know, Nintendo has done interesting stuff with the way they like kind of parse out their vintage collection stuff if you look at like the super mario 3d all-stars collection it had all the 3d games up until uh galaxy one they skipped galaxy yep. two like the zelda game skyward sword they put out on its own we still don't have wind waker or twilight princess so metroid prime i'm hoping they get to the full trilogy eventually but it, oh, yeah. at the very least for now it's awesome to know that the first game is remastered and available on switch as of today yeah, I'm excited. Reb, will you be downloading this game after we, we finish today or any of the games, really? But we're talking about this one now. You know, probably not. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a big Metroid person. I'm sorry. What? I know that's a, I know that's a sin here. Uh, that said, like, when this came out, I I wasn't, like, playing games socially, really. I was just playing them, like, very solo. And now I have, you know, I, I live with my partner who really is into Metroid and who I suspect is downstairs downloading this right now. And so yeah. I imagine he will play it. And Shout I imagine out. that we get to watch him play it. And I'm really excited to be exposed to it passively and to just see what all the fuss is about. And maybe if I'm intrigued enough by watching him play it, maybe I'll pick it up at some point, too. I'm glad the option is there, and it's really cool to get to see so many games in this direction. Uh, came from other eras, whether that's the whole GBA stuff or the GameCube stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting to see a lot of new life breathed into things that people have loved for a long time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we've got uh, modern controls, or yeah. you can do the bad controls that were, are hard to go back to. But Jeffrey, will you be playing with modern controls or uh, old classic? So yeah, so wave bird out. I, this will actually be my first time playing Metroid Prime as well because wow. I, I only played the Metroid Primes on Game Boy Advance. School's and, like, obsession. The no, I know. I was uh, honestly when it was the GameCube era, I was too busy playing Super Mario Sunshine and Pokemon Coliseum. Correct. So I'm very excited to uh, like try this. I'm 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 sad the physical version isn't until like later this month because like I want to just play yeah. it now. So I'll probably just get it now. But I'm very curious. Uh, how are the original controls? Because it's funny in the direct, they're like you use the left stick to move and the right stick for camera. And I bet all the kids are like, that's how every game is. But mm -hmm. how how did they work before? Uh, I I don't remember not, not, exactly not how like it that. Um, they, not like that. Like at most all, GameCube no. games, they worked in favor of the controller itself. Like it 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 seemed fine at the time, and the game was built around it. But modern yes. controls are going to change this. Like I jumped into GoldenEye on Xbox recently, and with dual stick controls, it just feels way better and slightly easier. So I hope they account for that here too. Mm, yeah. Um. Man, I am probably going to double dip. I think I'm going to buy this tonight and then buy the physical edition because i just love physical that's editions how they get you. Of games that's exactly how they get me that's why they can charge 70 dollars for something but i don't know how much this is going to cost all i know is that i'm getting it i'm so excited it's like a complete surprise like i i didn't think we were ever ever going to actually see this it's a little bit of a blow that they didn't um you know like you're saying brian like they didn't release the other two mm -hmm. and based off of like the 3d collection like you're saying they probably never will but hey i'm fine this is a lot of game and honestly what would happen if if they gave us all three as i would play the first one and then i just would be like Ooh, i'm all metroided out the third now, one is really so. good too so i do hope they get there eventually two is pretty good it's it's two's okay yeah. it's hard it's way harder yeah. than uh than the first one but i think but, they're gonna get yeah you're gonna get people less excited when when they drop two as a trailer during the direct like this is oh so i think it like packaging the three of them together would have would have been the smart play but like you know we have multiple people on the show who are going to buy this today and possibly double dip so that's why i don't do finances for nintendo every thursday we get together to talk about all things nintendo from the latest releases to hidden gems we've got you covered but beware things can get a little wild in the nbc studio don't miss out on the chaos tune in every thursday and be part of the nvc family mm. it's the only place where you can get the thing